Hello, so um, this is uh, basically um, going to be a, a very short introduction to uh, classification. So here we've got some dots on the screen and these represent some data. Now, if we wanted to make a classifier to say, is this red or is this blue, you can see that actually if we draw a line here um, then we could say if it's to the right uh, I'm trying to draw an arrow if it's to the right of this line it's blue if it's to the left it's red okay um, so this is kind of quite an easy data set um, but uh, the other thing we might do, there's lots of different lines we could use as a classifier. We could use this line, or this line. Now, the question we might ask is, what's the widest line? What's the widest margin we could make with a straight line? So if we have two lines like this, how wide can we make this um, I want that to be an arrow that should be an arrow so how wide can we make the gap between the two lines so that the separable data um, everything on this side is blue and everything on this side is red and that's called a maximum margin classifier and on this data set that looks like it's very simple but if you think about any kind of data here we've got two dimensional data points so a two dimensional data point let's call this point here a a1 uh, and it will be uh, x1 comma y1 but there's no particular reason why we have to stick to two dimensions unless we're um, trying to visualize it on the screen uh, in a two dimensional picture. So in general, we might have data points which are much longer. So we could have A equals uh, X1, X2, X3. So the dimensionality of the data, uh, given by the n, um, will change the dimension you need to draw the image in if you were drawing it, but the maths for working out the, this uh, margin classifier can all be done actually using um, norms. So a norm would be and all those calculations can be done using norms and there's something called uh, maximum margin classifiers SVMs which use that uh, approach SVMs maximum Actually, if I go to Google Images, that's probably the best thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there we go. Maximum margin. The maximum margin classifier. And maybe somewhere there's some maths. Okay, here we started to see some maths. But anyway, oh, oh yeah, here. Um, this one. We can see W transform X plus B. So this is the formula written in um, matrix form, where W is the parameters. Uh, like uh, for a straight line, you've got uh, Y equals MX plus C. So uh, M and C would be your parameters in two dimensions. But obviously, ooh, I don't need to click on that. So um, 
Uh, and so that, so you can see that actually we're already starting to understand just from these very simple ideas uh, that uh, we could write a classifier in more than two dimensions um, like f of x is equal to the sine of this thing and if it's positive then it's going to be on on that side it looks like from the diagram and if it's negative it'll be on this side so that's uh, so that's a classifier which is called a hard classifier because basically all it's doing is deciding between two possibilities so it just outputs a yes or no whether it's saying it's a blue dot or a red dot okay but uh, one issue we might have is that there might be overlap between the data and SVMs kind of deal with this um, by uh, allowing some overlap so they'll find it'll find kind of the best kind of fit with a line which I guess will probably be I'm not quite sure. Maybe something like this. Ah, um, if I move that over. And what we can see is that some of these dots, that one there and that one there, are literally on the line. Um, Yeah, uh, actually, it's quite hard to, to, to fit a... So we can see that the hard classifier won't necessarily be accurate in the region where there is overlap between the dots. Um, and for a particular data set, there's a limit to how well you can guess. Because, like, if we just had a lot of... Randomly a lot of blue dots and red dots in a region there might be regions where basically you know this whole area here it's kind of suspect as to whether it's going to be a red dot or a blue dot and that's just intrinsic to the data that sometimes you can't know like everything with these things so but another way of another way of modeling this data is what's the probability that X uh, is a red dot. And uh, so we, there we would develop a function that for any coordinate in the space, X, we can output a probability. So here, the prob here this would be a soft classifier in the sense that it outputs a probability instead of a 1 or a 0. And these are the two main types of classifier, hard classifier and um, uh, soft classifiers, which are probabilistic. And um, OK, uh, that's probably enough information for this video, so I'm going to stop it there. And um, in the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can de develop these probabilistic models for different types of data.